Hello, I'm back. 2024 has seen the 80th anniversary of many significant events that occurred during the last full year of World War II, such as the Battle for Monte Cassino, the Normandy Campaign, the V Weapon Assault, the Kohima Infall Offensive, the failed 20th of July attempt to assassinate Adolf Hitler, the Warsaw Uprising, Operation Market Garden, and the Ardennes Offensive. Another equally significant but less familiar event, which also took place 80 years ago, was the official standing down of the Home Guard on 3rd of December 1944. Initially formed in 1940 as local defence volunteers, the Home Guard started out with a severe shortage of weapons and other equipment. This was caused by the need to prioritise access for the regular armed forces following the loss of large quantities of equipment during the retreat from France. Soldiers initially forced the various home guard units to make do with whatever they could have to hand, as clearly demonstrated by the exchange between Mannering and Pike in the initial parade scene from the 1971 Army film. What's that supposed to be? Well, you said if we hadn't got anything else, we'd tie a carving knife to a broom handle. I didn't mean that you were to leave the broom on the end of the handle, you stupid boy. You should have said. Personally, I think tying a knife to a broom handle without removing the broom head is actually a good idea because as well as allowing the user to sweep the ground while on patrol, as long as they're careful, retaining the boom head allows the boom to be used to incapacitate an opponent. Of course, that kind of improvisation only works in close quarter hand to hand combat. Back on the enemy at greater distances requires longer range weapons, such as the Northover projector, designed by Home Guard Officer Robert Harry Northover to act as a makeshift anti tank weapon. The missing of a hollow metal tube attached to a tripod with a rudimentary piece at one end, it fired round using black powder, aka gunpowder which was ignited by a standard musket percussion cap and had an effective range of between 100 and 150 yards. Although cheap and easy to make, it was difficult to move, and the number 76 special incendiary grenades, used as one type of ammunition, had a tendency to break inside the breach, damaging the weapon and injuring the crew. This didn't stop one Sussex Home Guard unit, who were photographed with their projector mounted on a small handcart, for use as an anti-aircraft weapon. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did feel free to like and share, also let me know what you think in the comments section. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and click the bell icon to be notified about new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.